In the first part of the course, we're going to focus on modifiers. We're going to see how we can apply them, where we can apply them, how we can generalize the code that is needed to, to create them uh, in order to be able to use it across different projects. In this part of the course, we're still going to be using the modifiers. We're going to dive a little bit deeper and uh, apply the same knowledge like we saw before onto a completely different uh, use case. So we're going to be generating some rocks here. We're also going to go a bit more in depth than just the uh, the modifier workflow. So we're going to start off with the modifiers, uh, but then we're actually going to dive a little bit deeper into generating like specific textures for our displacement and also offsetting the vertices, which you can see a little bit of a sneak peek uh, here, but it's actually quite fun. We can really um, yeah mess around with the geometry this way. We can really um, displace it um, on, on multiple levels, which uh, which allows these quite interesting results. In this part of the course, we are going to leave the modifiers aside for a little bit. Uh, we're going to just focus on actually creating geometry. We're really going to get into the nitty gritty of, of modeling, adding edges, uh, extruding faces, moving vertices around. Um, so we're really going to like we're going to keep it simple in the beginning. Um, we're just going to focus on a single book, see how we can make it, uh, how we can script it. And then when, once you know how to make a single book, you can easily make like a whole shelf of books. Um, even a whole library with, with this with this relatively simple script. Uh, so I really don't want to overwhelm you guys. We will also spend some time and attention on the quality of our code, making sure that everything is clean and, and structured. All right. So without further ado, let's uh, let's start the course. <laughs> 